This is a video about how to get started with Wii Video. So when you log in, it looks like this. You'll notice four tabs across the top here, the dashboard where it defaults to, projects, media, so any media you bring in, pictures, etc., will show up here, and videos. Let's start in the projects tab and create a new project. I'm going to go ahead and fill this in. So I fill this in. I'm just doing a short promo video for this university right here. And then I want to choose this right here. This is my project type. If I were doing something collaborative, I might be over here. But this is just an individual video. I select that and hit next. And then create video. So when you get to the video editor, it looks like this. And you notice the timeline is here. And you have three tracks on your timeline by default. You have an audio track and two video tracks. Now, I only need one video track, so I'm actually going to come up to this one right here and hit the garbage can to delete it. Now, I've got one video track and one audio track. So the first thing I want to do is bring in some media. Now, um, this comes with stock media, some pictures and some audio tracks, which is great. But I'm going to bring in some of my own media. So I come over to the Media tab. And it says, uh, first, you want to save this, which I do. So I hit save. And I go back to projects again. And I can see here it is. So let's go back in here, media. And let's go ahead and bring in my media by hitting this plus sign in the lower right. I'm going to import it from my Google Drive because I've already collected things there. And I find the folder where my media is. Here it is. And this is all the media I have. So I have pictures, a video clip, and an audio track. I'm going to go ahead and select them all. I click the first one, go to the last one, hold down the Shift key, and then I hit Select to go ahead and bring them in. Okay, so I get this message that all my media has been imported. It can take a little while, especially if you have video clips. And then I can see they're all here. So I, again, I have uh, audio clips, I have a video clip, and I have some still pics as well. Okay, let's go back to the project here and go into my video. And uh, now from here, I'm going to start bringing in my media onto my timeline here. So I'm going to start with my audio clip. So let me go ahead and come up here to this folder right here. So this is going to be uh, all my medias in here. These are different uh, like title slides and text slides, etc. This would be stock audio that's in there. This would be where I go for my transitions between slides, and this would be uh, stock graphics that they give you. So all of your media actually is listed here as well. Here's this tab shows you everything you have. This is how you bring it into the timeline. So let's click on the media folder here. And I'm going to bring my audio track in first. So here's my audio track. I'm going to slide it and bring it down here like so. Now, I just want to make a short 30-second uh, video here. So I'm going to trim my five minute um, audio clip here. So I click once on it and it gets a red outline. Then when I come to the end, I get a two sided arrow and I can just drag it. And this is just trimming it. So let me just keep moving like so. And I'll just bring it all the way down till I get 30 seconds. So there is a 30 second clip right here. Okay, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Now, I also can stretch this out. So in the lower right here, if you hit the plus sign, it's not changing the length of it, it's just changing the view, so it'll stretch it out. So let me stretch out my 30 seconds, because that's all I really need to look at here. A little bit more. Okay, so now I've got my 30 second timeline here. And the other thing I want to do is I want to fade it in. And I can trim from either side, by the way. I can trim this way as well, and then bring this one back out. Let's bring it Maybe we'll start there. Come back out to 30 seconds, like so. Uh, the other thing I want to do is I want to fade it in and fade it out, because this will start rather abruptly. If I play this right now, you'll see that it starts abruptly. Okay, that's too abrupt. I want to fade in and fade out. So let's go ahead and do that. So if I click on it here, you'll notice this little diagonal fade bar here. Click on that, and I'm just going to fade in for a second, and I'm going to fade out for one second, like so. And then just click away. And you can see it made these fade in lines, so it shows you that it's fading in. So now if I go back to the beginning, this is where you can play and see what's going on here, by the way. I can see it fades in a little bit, okay? All right, so I've got my audio track all set here. And now I'm going to start assembling my graphics up here. So let's see, maybe I'll go ahead and start with this California coast. 
picture right here. Now I want these to be qu pretty quick, so just like two seconds. Right now it comes in in five seconds. So click once on it, it gets red, and then I can drag it in till it says it's two seconds. That's about two seconds right there. So we'll do that, and then maybe we'll bring in um, some redwood trees. I'm going to keep doing this, just butting them up against each other, clicking once on them, and then dragging them in. As you can see right on the clip itself, it tells you how long it is. So that's about another two seconds there, roughly. So I'm going to bring the rest of my media in here to the timeline. Okay, so I've brought all of my pictures in here. There are two seconds each, and then I brought my video clip, which is actually a little over six seconds. So next, I want to bring a title into the front. So in order to do that, I want to make sure I'm on this tab right here, the text tab, and I have all these different choices here. I find one I like. I go ahead and I bring it and I put it right in the crease where I want it, and I tell it to insert and push the timeline to the right. And then I'm going to make it a little shorter. So right now it's six seconds. Let's click on it. I think I can bring it back to four seconds. That's like the minimum for this. And now I have a space in here. So I want to move all of these up. So I can click on this one, hold shift key, click on that one to get them all, and then bring it up like so. All right. In order to edit this, I double click on it. Okay. And here's the primary text. So that would be this word right here. So I go ahead and fill this in. Okay, so I filled in the primary and the secondary text, and it's reflected over here. You can change colors and other things as well, but I'm just going to keep it simple. I hit Done Editing, and then it puts in the beginning. Now, at any time, by the way, I can just play it over here to see how it's playing. Okay, so it plays just fine. However, there are a couple things I still need to do. I want to put transitions in be between the different clips to make it blend a little bit nicer. So let's go ahead and do that. So um, let's go to the beginning of our video here. I'm going to put a transition right in here, in here, in here, etc. So I come up to here, this tab called Transitions. And again, lots of different choices here. You can go through them. I'm just going to do a crossfade. So I just click it and drag it into the crease between the two clips. And now we'll put a transition in here. I'll do the same thing here and here. And I'm just going to go ahead and put transitions between all my clips. Okay, so I've added transitions between my clips here. So now if I just drag this back, you can see how it moves from one to the other. And it just does a crossfade, which is much nicer. Now the other thing I want to do, it maybe is add some animation or some movement to my still clips to make them move in and out perhaps a little bit. So in order to do that, you click on the still picture itself, and then you come up here and you go to the pencil and it opens the clip editor. And you want to come over to uh, the animation tab here, and then you can set a start and an end point. So I'm in the start point here. So let's suppose on the end point, I want to uh, just have it fade away a little bit. So I just pulled it a little bit. So now it'll actually, you'll see it'll have some movement when I play it. So let's go ahead and play that clip now. Let's drag this back here. <laughs> So you can see how the still picture moves a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and put movement in my other still pictures. Okay, I've added animation to my still pictures now. Um, last thing I want to do is I see at the end I have a gap. My music's still playing and I have nothing on screen. So I'm just going to take my last still and I'll just make it a little bit longer. So now everything is 30 seconds. Now if I go to the beginning, I can play through it as an editing project. Okay, so let's say I play through it. It's looking good. Now I'm ready to finish the movie. So in order to finish the movie, I come up here where it says finish. I go ahead and click on that and I give it a title. I put my title in. I hit set. And then I choose the resolution. So this will be higher quality. This will be a lower quality. I'm going to go with the lower to speed it up. And now this is pretty important. I want to save it into my Google Drive. So I want to make sure I go ahead and select this right here. And I can choose whatever thumbnail I want. So I'll, I'll choose this as my thumbnail for my thing. Google Drive and Finish. And now it's going to go ahead and complete the video and render the video. Now this may take some time, even for a short video. Okay, so now I can see that my video is done. And that took several minutes, even for a 30-second video. This is one I did earlier. Now it puts this video in my Google Drive. Let's go to my Google Drive it automatically makes a folder called WeVideo. 
and that is where the final video will end up right here now this is a standalone video you can turn this in to your teacher you could upload this to youtube whatever you'd like if i double click on it it will play in my google drive okay and if you do this too early it actually forces you to download it and then play it so let's go ahead and download it and i'll play it from here Okay, so that is how you get started with WeVideo.